This is what all the fuss is about. The Adelaide A110 lever action shotgun. Much of the debate concerning this firearm has been based on rhetoric and fear mongering. That is simply not true. The problem we have in today's media is that unless you're a shooter yourself, chances are that you won't know much about firearms. That's why I'm now going to take you through some of the features of this firearm and dispel a few of the myths. Now let's look at the firearm itself. It has a 50 centimetre barrel with a magazine beneath it. That's the tube here. Even after the federal import ban, it's been legal under state law to extend the magazine of this firearm to hold seven cartridges. Now let's look at some of the myths. This firearm is not a semi-automatic. A semi-automatic firearm will reload automatically each press of the trigger. The Adler won't do that. Look, I'll show you. Did you hear that? Only one click. I'm still baffled by the story about a supposed sawn off Adler A110 shotgun. On the face of it, this could be a concerning story, but let's look at the facts. When criminals saw off a firearm, they reduced the size of a long arm to something similar to a pistol to make it concealable. For starters, you can't do that with the Adler A110 because of the springs and gears that operate the lever action and the size of the action itself. The other obvious drawback is that you also reduce magazine capacity. Since feeding each cartridge is a cumbersome process, once the magazine is empty, all a criminal would have is a fairly useless firearm for illegal activity. I'd like to see the full report so we can know more about this story. So there you have it. There's nothing special or unusual about the Adler A110 lever action shotgun. It was legal under John Howard's 1996 National Firearms Agreement and should be now. I want to see the Adler A110 remain where it belongs in Category A. The Shooters, Fishers and Farmers Party is the only party fighting changes to state firearms laws.